Many years ago, we people believed that cancer is just one disease, that it's the same disease that happens to everyone, that goes everywhere, and the treatment is all very similar. We have learned that this, this is indeed not the case. Lung cancer behaves differently from breast cancer, behaves differently from colon cancer. The changes occur specifically in the cancer cells that create the behavior of the cancer. So we really under, need to understand beyond the microscope that within the genes of the cancer, there might be a lot of information we can learn from that help us understand their behavior and the biology. The great thing about the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation's billion dollar personalized cancer medicine campaign, it's actually taking discoveries made in the laboratory about the genetic origins of cancer and translating those into clinics and use it directly to treat our patients in new and exciting ways. With the application of new technologies and new tools, we really are able to understand much more about what makes one cancer aggressive and what treatments it's likely to respond to versus another cancer. The patient is given a very good comprehensive overview of what the project involves. We then take blood from the patient and we also um, look to see if there is tissue available uh, from a previous biopsy and that is the tissue that we use um, to test to look for genetic mutations. What we've done is we've designed a panel that has a number of different genes on it that we know are involved in tumor initiation and progression. Once we process the sample and we interrogate uh, the DNA for the mutations, we um, spend quite a lot of time in interpreting the data. We issue a report which goes into the electronic patient record. The physician will then interpret those data in the clinical context of the patient. Treatment recommendations may be made based on what the findings are. So for example, some of the, the changes or mutations, there are drugs already in approved usage or on clinical trials that we could prescribe to the patients to understand whether this type of matching of target to drug makes a difference in their care. She had received a number of different treatments for her breast cancer and they were really no longer effective in terms of controlling her cancer and improving her disease-related symptoms. My whole hands inside it was swollen and the skin was peeling off. The same with my feet. I couldn't walk for two weeks. Another was like uh, I couldn't breathe at all. I felt like somebody sitting on my chest. Many, many ugly, really ugly uh, side effects. Dr. Bedard convinced me that this is really for me a big chance. And actually I had nothing to lose because I knew that everything that was on the market was already used on me. In the process of testing one of her samples as part of this program, we found that she had a mutation, and we were able to match her to an ongoing clinical trial, testing drugs specifically that block these pathways. Thanks to the program and uh, those new medications really can make big, big change in human's life. I think I have new life. Different, but new life. Sometimes it all comes together. You get fabulous scientists creating new information. You get wonderful, ambitious clinicians like Dr. Sue, Dr. Bedard, who want to create better therapies for their patients. And you get wonderful support from the public. It really teaches us a lot more about the biology of the disease and something that may not have um, a drug available currently or a therapy available may have one in the next few years. What we learn through clinical practice, patient response, um, how well patients react to certain drugs also teaches us more about the areas that we need to research further and the gaps that we need to fill where we need to learn more. It would be a huge advancement in knowledge that we understand what different cancers are being driven by and how they change to make themselves resistant to drugs. 
I think the hope is that we're going to have a much healthier population. Uh, we're going to be able to give patients the best quality of life possible uh, and we're really going to be able to make a difference.